So now guys, we're gonna move on to the Caterpillar 303.5 E2. This particular machine is equipped with a mechanical pin grabber coupler, requires an additional tool in order to remove the bucket on this and also reattach. CAT does offer a hydraulic coupler for an additional cost. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the interior on the Caterpillar 303.5 E2. CAT does a nice job with their fit and finish. A Couple of quick things I wanna point out though. Their display panel, it, while it is digital, it's not touchscreen. The radio is not integrated. It's not camera capable. The other thing that they do within their panel is it allows you to switch from excavator to backhoe controls, but you have to go through a couple of different steps in order to do that. So the other thing CAT does is they do, while they do have zero pedals on the floor other than your drive levers, they are not folding. So it does get in the way at times when you're not using them. Their left-hand console, they have all their boom swing functions at fingertip, similar to the Bobcat. The majority of their controls are forward facing, however their radio is up off to the top left where it makes it difficult and you have to take your eyes off the job site in order to do anything. So now we'll move on to the maintenance features on the CAT 303.5. Fuel fill similar to the Bobcat located right behind the entry door, it is locking. Moving on to the rear hood, again also a locking rear hood, swings to the side versus upward like several mo models do. So located right in here. They do have pretty good accessibility. Oil filters located right down here. Oil fill, dipstick is located here. Windshield washer fluid. Everything's pretty centrally located and oil drain is located right on the bottom of the engine. So now moving on to the side. Cat does the side hood a little bit differently. Swings up above, so you gotta duck to get underneath. Uh, cooling pack is located right here. Fuel filter is located here. Air filter, here's their control valve setup. Their hydraulic oil fill is located over here and their hydraulic oil filter is tucked back behind. You have to remove an additional panel in order to access that.